welcome to Plan B. This show is where we talk about the local art that is around Welling Garden City. What you'll see in our first clip is our boys went to the, lo the local shredded wheat factory to check out the new art style I and the personal garage of the owner that holds many luxurious motorcycles. The shredded wheat factory, uh, as it's known, was constructed originally in 1926 by Nabisco. It was designed by Louis de Soissons, a firm of architects. The building actually closed down about 10, 11 years ago and it's laid dormant for all that time and we're now bringing the site back into, uh, into use. The way that the space will work allows us to show a whole eclectic mix of different art types. We're particularly interested in modern art but that's not to say that we won't be having some more classical art on display. At the same time, we're also interested in motorbikes and other things that we think are of innate beauty. And we're gonna be incorporating some of those at, together with artifacts from the Shredder Wheat Factory within the art hub to also create a museum space. In terms of the events that we'll be doing here, obviously we've got the Civic Building uh, with a wellness centre and performing arts. We hope to have a number of events, both within the Art Hub but also within the public realm spaces, of which we've got some very substantial areas. Um, so there'll be an opportunity to do a variety of things which all the general public will be able to enjoy. So we might have a farmer's market uh, perhaps one weekend, but we might also have an external art show. There's a variety of things that we, we hope to be able to deliver within the public realm space as well as within the art. Shredded Wheat Factory is still open in Welling. Next up, we have an interview with the head organiser of the arts course at Hertfordshire University. I'm Annabelle Lucas, I'm Head of UH Arts. Um, UH Arts is the Arts and Cultural Programme for the University of Hertfordshire. So it's kind of like an arts centre for the students and staff on campus and the community around about. Um, we don't have one building where we show all the art and culture activity that's spread across the campus. So we're here in the um, Art and Design Gallery, which is where we show the visual art um, aspects of the programme. But we also have pop-up theatre, um, we've had pop-up circus and other activities in this space. This is a really funny piece that was made by, um, it's actually a member of staff now, but um, Tricia was actually a student with us. And if you have a close look, um, this piece which is called Everyone's Got a Double, um, shows these pieces of popcorn. Um, and Tricia has um, se selected these because they're in effect mini portraits. Um, a piece made out of um, pieces of mirror, very reflective and in the same way that this is looking at architecture you could say that this is um, also interesting in architecture because it's reflecting the space um, and architecture around it within all the different facets of the pieces of, of mirror. now and with a very special guest, local skateboarder Clem Barnes. So, do you think skateboarding is an art? Well, yeah, I think so, because like, there's no real end game like a normal sport, so it's more about like, expressing your creativity and like, your abilities as an individual, I think. So with the new proposed skate park that is going to be put uh, in King George, do you feel that can improve your ability and others' ability with skateboarding? Uh, well, if the park is designed right and built correctly, then yeah, because you know there'll be so much more to do, you know, so people will be actually motivated to learn it, and they'll have like the space to do it on, so they won't just be you know riding around, causing what other people would call a ruckus, because. Mm. That's what skateboarders are known for. So it'd also keep us out of the way. Yeah, fair enough. Well, to you, what makes skateboarding 
different to any other type of hobby? I think just that, like, you don't even really have to be a skateboarder to be skateboarding, you know? Like, you see someone getting a board and, you know, it's just messing around. Like, it's not taken seriously. You can just have fun with friends. You know, it's barely even, like, a hobby because you're just kind of messing around on a bit of wood. Very, very delightful. Now, this next clip we're going to see is about music. And the band that we're going to see are called The Last Scarlet Night. Joy. Oh, here I am sitting with the last Skylet Man, a lovely bunch of gentlemen. Say hello. Hi. Hello. So, uh, guys, uh, what inspires you guys to independently write the music that you write? I don't really write it independently, we write it together. <laughs> yeah, I think. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it's like independently as a band that's, you know, just a local thing, you know? Not like a signed yeah. thing. Um, We're well. not trying very hard, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> that that's is a good point. With the different interests that you each obviously have, like, does that sometimes so like soak into what you guys are doing? I mean, uh, well, like, influences music. Yeah, so, like, with. obviously, yeah. some of you have similar interests, but some. Yeah, music yeah, no, yeah. Out yeah it definitely yeah. affects the music, especially Tom's like, writing. He's gone to Seven Strings now because mm. he's seen some love lighting. Bit, bit for an autopsy and okay, yeah. stuff, so. I think we're going towards, like, that. That kind of sound, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely affecting the songwriting, especially now. Wait, what's the message behind the last Skylight Night? What's the inspiration of the band <laughs> and the name? Oh, we're in the name, man. Oh, yeah. It pretty much just came from Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Which I found out about five minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. But it's just like blowing up the moon. I mean, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> So, all in all, you guys are just happy with how you are, what you're doing, yeah. having a lot of fun, Stay obviously. happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got a lot of mixed vibes from you today, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, that's the last Scarlet Night. You can check them on uh, YouTube or any local pub. <laughs> <laughs> Music is widely considered to be one of the most relatable forms of art, and... On such a special day, we are honouring the late, great Jimi Hendrix. I hope you enjoy. Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. I really hope you've enjoyed today's show. There's been a lot of insightful information, very eye-opening things. But I'm afraid, till next time, I shall see you then. <laughs>